Hey everyone, uh, it's been a while since I've done a video on anything solar and Powerwall, and there's been a great announcement recently from Tesla, and or an offering I should say, that they are now finally offering the Powerwall directly for order. And this has been a long time coming, Powerwall has been in high demand, and previously, what's another part of this is with the new infrastructure bill, at least in the United States, the Powerwall directly is now eligible for the tax credit if you're buying this without solar. Previously, you had to buy this with solar to get the tax credit to apply to the Powerwall. Now you can buy this by itself, which actually enables a lot of different options for a lot more uh, people around the country to provide backup for their power and hopefully save a lot of money along the way in a different way that uh, solar may not make as much sense because of the pricing or the utility offerings or length of install uh, or your roof condition. This could be a different way to save money and provide safety in the event of an outage. So here's the item. Um, when you go to Tesla's website, you'll see Powerwall is actually available to click from the main uh, item at the top. And then when you go to the Powerwall options and put in your address, this is just a request form. The goal is they'll ship this to you, connect you with an installer if available, and work with you to install this. I have one right now. I have an eight kilowatt system and a one Powerwall. And I've been thinking about a second one because, as you can see here, there's a backup guide that tells you what type of appliances can you expect if you only buy one versus two versus three. And you can see the larger appliances go from uh, not eligible for some of them to fully eligible, meaning air conditioner can work, but it really depends on your size of your AC, how long you're running it. This is more impactful in Arizona as you'll deplete two power walls relatively quickly, depending on uh, how much you're using it and how much power it's drawing. And it, with SRP, there are insane high demand rates uh, and charges that you'll experience if you are using this during the hours of 2 p.m. to 8 during the summer, which is very, very hot during the day. Uh, so I'll go more into to that in a moment. But when you're going through the pricing now, so this is actually a little bit less than it was before. Uh, and then if you currently have an existing system and say yes to solar and expansion of Powerwall, you save another $1,000. So this plus the federal tax credit is under $6,000 for a single power wall, which may be very attractive if you've been thinking about expanding your system now that you can buy a single power wall and save a little bit of money for having a system already. And then it enables you to power more appliances. Uh, so for me, as an example, electric water heater, one power wall, I can only draw five kilowatts at a time. And with other things running in the house, if I'm running hot water during the day during peak, unless solar is uh, offsetting some of the usage on top of the power wall, the water heater, in order to heat the water in a 50 gallon tank is pulling uh, it. My total pull is beyond what the power one power wall can handle. And so then there's sometimes that I'll incur demand charges, especially if I'm using hot water, different parts of the year in the morning, uh, when there's no sun or in the evening when the sun is down, I'm relying solely on the power wall with only a five kilowatt draw. And I may be seeing like five and a half, six kilowatts drawing at that time, which is actually incurring charges from SRP. You're really not supposed to use much to save the most money during any peak time. And the only way to avoid that is buying power walls. So for someone in Arizona, or if you're using a lot of power during peak times, three power walls at 24,200 will give you many days of backup power, as well as power you through all of the peak times in the winter and the summer. And after the tax credit, you're looking at like 17,000 for this and unlocking insanely low rates. So as we go to SRP's website, these are all the price plans. There are different rates for solar, but if you're thinking about direct power wall, you're only gonna be looking at the residential plans. And the new plan, is the residential demand, which basically unlocks the super low on and off peak rates. It's really the off peak that we care about. And you can see it's significantly lower than anything else across the board by 20 to 30% less. And this is the rates where, you, when, especially those if you're watching this from California or other places with high electricity rates, this is insanely low. You can charge typically your Model Y, your Model 3, your Model S for a couple dollars here uh, with these insane rates. And this is what previously the solar was trying to unlock is solar doesn't really pay for itself quickly at all in Arizona because for on these types of plans, yes, the electricity is super cheap, but that also means when you sell it back to the grid, you're only getting four and a half cents as well. And so it's not really... Uh, 
a huge money saver where in California, you're getting back 30 to 50 cents a kilowatt that you're returning to the grid here. It's only four and a half cents. So you're really trying to buy a small system to unlock really low rates. But now, since you don't have solar and you're buying Powerwall Direct, they are unlocking the same rates they offer solar customers on the demand plan by having Powerwall only. And so the goal is if you buy two or three power walls, you will unlock these insanely low rates, which should cut your bill more than in half, uh, generally because the basic plan is like 11, 12 cents a kilowatt. This is bringing it down to four and a half. And you can charge your cars off peak. There's also off grid charging with the power wall so that your batteries will be charging at these low rates. And then you can use four and a half cent power during the peak times in the winter, 5 a.m. to 9 and then 5 p.m. to 9 p.m., and then in the summer, it's 2 to 8, you're just completely running off of 4.6 cents, uh, or in the summer rates, it's even lower, surprisingly, 4.3 cents, and then summer peak, it's a little bit higher at 4.8. So you're averaging under 5 cents per kilowatt all year round by and having guaranteed power when there's an outage, which unfortunately, at least in my area, and it does happen with our monsoons and, and other storms, power does happen to go out. And you'll have, you know, your fridge, uh, your appliances, and you'll even be able to run your AC for several hours as even with an old single stage AC, if you're drawing like four kilowatts an hour and you need to last six hours, you're going to have plenty of power because three power walls is over 30 kilowatts of power. And you could run your AC through the entire time or even cycle it. Or if you have a two stage AC or a variable stage, like it, you're, you're plenty of power to power a typical two to three bedroom house the entire peak time. And so immediately you'll have a lot more equity and value in your home for getting multiple power walls as these will be assets that'll, that'll uh, serve you for many, many years. And then you can avoid any of the demand charges. So if you use any power beyond what your power wall is supplying, that's where SRP is making their money because that's how they can afford to subsidize these really low off-peak rates is you're not just paying five cents on peak, you're paying five cents plus really, really high demand charges on top of that. So um, something to keep in mind, but this is a very attractive new offering. This is just further info on the tax credit. As you can see, standalone Powerwall had no tax credit until 2023, and that's lasting through the year 2032, and then starts to uh, go off through uh, 2035. There's no tax credit. So 30% off for the next nine years, if you have a tax liability, and this will come back. This is basically under $6,000 a Powerwall. And then there'll be other state, local, and utility incentives that are worth exploring. We don't have it anymore, but at the time, SRP was offering like three thousand uh, dollars. They were just writing a check to kind of do research and see how Powerwall or backup systems were affecting the utility, if it would help them or not. And so that brought the cost of these things down to like a few grand. It was really really nice. But this video is just meant to let you know that this is now a new offering that you can get this direct. Check this out. Check with your utility and look at the utility rate plans. You're looking basically for time of use and seeing how much am I spending during these peak hours, whether you're paying demand charges or if you live in a state or, or, or region that has more just standard per kilowatt pricing, see what the time of use is and imagine if all of that was now off peak rates. And now that we have uh, off peak grid charging directly with the Tesla app and Tesla offering it, this becomes a brand new option to consider if you're looking to expand your system or buy it for the first time without solar. So hopefully this helps uh, think about some other options for you and talk to you in the next video. Take care. Have a good one.